Behind the scenes, behind the lines, inside the stories others won't tell. The Morning Insiders. Preying on honest people in the middle of a pandemic, a Chicago woman fallen on hard times is hit with a one-two punch. She says she paid a contractor thousands of dollars to fix her roof. He took her cash, then left the roof ripped up and hasn't been seen since. Morning Insider Tim McNicholas uncovers this trail of lies. Throughout this year, it's just been so hard. It's been, it's been so hard. Tiana Hills grew up in this home. It's where her family took care of her. And when COVID caused family illnesses and financial hardships, she returned to take care of them. But things didn't go as planned. Her nearly 100-year-old home, full of family, 15 people in all, and also full of problems. The gutters and the shingles have fell off. The worst being a bad roof that leaks each time it rains. Like many homeowners in need of a repair, Hill turned to Yelp and got an immediate reply from Riverside Roofing and Masonry. They came out the very next day because I And the momentum continued. She signed the contract paid a $4,500 deposit, work all set to start, but... They said they need $6,500 to start, so we gave them more money. Even after receiving the additional two grand, one of Riverside's owners, Justin Ephraim, pressed her for more. I'm just in desperate need to get the house fixed. The family pinched their scarce finances some more, but the eight grand Hill had now given him still wasn't enough. The only work this supposed contractor did put holes in her wall. Ephraim asked for even more money, but this time Hill refused and he ghosted her. Worried, Hill returned to Yelp and saw new negative reviews describing scenarios strikingly similar to her own. In the midst of everything that's going on, who, who does this to people? We checked to see if Riverside Roofing and Masonry was licensed with the state, a requirement, the answer, no. We called the number listed on his contracts, not in service. As for this business address? So we drove to that address in Riverside, and we found the offices for dentists, attorneys, but no contractor. I feel taken advantage of. I feel betrayed. Making matters worse, the bad weather combined with that bad roof meant Hill's family had to cough up another $1,000 to someone else just to tarp the roof. I'm trying to be real positive, um, but I'm, I'm really hurt. Like, I'm really hurt. A bright blue reminder of the work that still needs to be done and the pain caused by a roof job gone bad. Tim McNicholas, CBS2 News. So what did the contractor tell us? Well, good question, because his story and his excuses just kept changing. And you won't believe the outrageous offer slash threat he made to Hill. We'll have that story coming up at 10 tonight. For more stories like this one, download our new app, and you can look for the section called Morning Insiders.